Coach. Yeah. Coach. Kenny talked yesterday. He wasn't real pleased with the quarterbacks receivers after yesterday's practice. So going into tomorrow's scoring, what are you looking for out of Sims and Lane? Yeah, I think that we've raised a standard around here with that position that we're going to be really critical of them. I mean, they've been completing the ball at a really high percentage uh, all camp, and to have a day where there's a lull gives us an opportunity as coaches to kind of get after them and, and continue to keep our foot on it. And uh, I think the expectations have changed in regards to what we know we need to get down, and those guys understand that. So uh, the finer details we won't we won't list, we won't miss. I think the opportunities for when you have a chance to, to fire back after a day you weren't perfect is, is really a cool a, a great opportunity for guys to, to rebound and, and, and get, some, get some knowledge on the film and get back out and, and go to work. How important is the live element of that then tomorrow for these guys? Yeah, I mean, the live element for the quarterbacks is a little different because, you know, they're not normally live. You know, they're, not, they're never really live. Not many places where they let the quarterback go live. I think uh, holistically for the offense, a live opportunity is, 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 is everything. That's the real football piece on both sides of the ball. Um, an opportunity to make guys miss who can – who can block guys when they're in pass protection when they're really rushing really hard? Uh, what do our space plays really look like? Um, what kind of angles are, are we taking and, and how are we affect the defense when things are going full speed? So um, those are awesome opportunities for us because that's real football and it's not far away. For you, it'll be packed tomorrow with fans. How was that going to be for you in terms of running the offense? The guys know the people are here watching. You've got a crowd cheering them on. Yeah, I mean, hopefully that doesn't affect them. I mean, that, that's the reality of it. I think that. Um, and don't misunderstand that. I think that it's, it's, it's an awesome, awesome deal. I just think that there comes a point where you got to get your guys to, um, you know, not be affected by the elements. I mean, that's the reality of it. And regardless of who's out here, if there's no one out here right now, the practice can't look any different when a thousand people show up. Um, otherwise, your culture and your, the way you've got guys thinking from. How do you feel about the left tackle position since Emmett Bowley moved over? One more time. Uh, the left tackle position yeah. since Emmett moved there. How do you feel about it? Yeah, no, it's awesome to have him back. I think in spring it was it, it took a long time to get him kind of to where I could actually get to see him, and then um, got back out in fall camp. I saw him in the summer getting activated. Um, you know, a guy with with his experience and, and obviously his abilities is, is important for us at that position. So, the more and more reps we get with him, the more and more gel we get and, and, and continuity you get with that front five. Um, with the rotation now, it goes from you know from nine, eight to seven. So those top five, you know, that top nine guys, um, I think is really important. And Emmett's a huge piece of, of getting more and more reps with us. Is one of those quarterbacks rising above the other at this point, or just still too early to tell? That's too early to tell. I mean, we're we're still we're we've so so much work to do on offense. We're still brand new. I mean. We're in day 10 of the fall camp the first time. There's some stuff they're still hearing for the first time situationally. Um, we've got a high percentage of guys who are new. They're hearing it the first time, not just the phase one in spring when we when I got here. And so um, that's too far to tell. I think at the end of the day, we're trying to attack each one each day and say, hey, you know, go in, go in today. Go, go maximize the day and today's opportunities. They're both doing a really nice job. Um, and I'm putting a lot on them. You know, I'm putting a lot on them. You have more, a lot of uh, depth at receiver, and you have a lot of pass catchers available. Just what do you see from that group in terms of talent and uh, on spring football? Yeah, those guys have done. Those guys are a huge piece of the offense. Number one, there's a, there's a talented group out there. Um, we've got to get them in position to make plays and put them in position. Um, mentally to be able to function the offense. They've done a really, really good job. We ask a lot of them. Um, offense is new from what they've, knew, what they've known before. But um, it's a group that's been eager, and Coach Hines has been a huge piece of that. I think that the, the, the accountability and discipline he brings to that room is, uh, is, is completely recognizable. Um, and you can see that um, from the group's response in regards to both on and off the field. And so they're an awesome group. Um, and right now, right now we're right in the midst of camp, so we've got some legs that are they're hanging a little bit. We take care of their bodies now and, and get us to the dance here in a few weeks. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.